Hello, everybody, and welcome to session number 13. Yes, lucky number 13. Uh, you're probably wondering why you can't see any of us right now. And the reason why you can't see us at the moment is because this is our Halloween session. Uh, as of this taping, we are about... It's basically the weekend just before Halloween, and as tradition for my campaigns, I encourage my players to dress up as their character to the best of their ability for uh, our Halloween session, and whoever ends up being voted as the best costume will get extra RP points! Yay! Extra experience points, yay! <laughs> so I guess I will start with myself. <gasps> Uh, before I reveal myself, uh, can, I, I'm open for guesses as to who, which character, which NPC that I dressed up as. And I will say that, for at least for me, I was able, I had the pick of any NPC, and that includes Pokemon. So, <laughs> anyone Drag have a guess? Dragonair, please. Yes. <laughs> Dragonair, okay. <laughs> Like, I know you have the stuff for Deja Vu, but I don't feel like you'd, you know, do, do like, that. double up. Mm -hmm. You're creative. So you don't think I'm Deja Vu. Okay. Um, the lieutenant, maybe? You think I'm the lieutenant? Okay. <laughs> I think it'd be great to see you as Inky. Yes. Inky would oh. be fun. <laughs> Take the same. Take the same. I think guess it's Dr. Light here. Dr. Lightyear is definitely Ooh. a fun one. Mm -hmm. the buzz, I got the buzz already, so. <laughs> is, that, is that everybody? Got a guess? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, here we go. Oh no! There we go. Okay. Hey, yes. Yeah! Hey. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Aww. <laughs> you look very stout. I like that, I like that. I didn't, I would <laughs> guess. I was tempted to wear a towel, but. <laughs> Aww. Well, that would for be the vlog. Of... Come on. That'll be uh, time. Lost changed. opportunity. <laughs> yes, I know. Man, <laughs> uh, cool. Who would like to show their costume next? I can. Okay. Mostly because I want to put my prop down. Okay. <laughs> Whoa, nice. Oh, cool. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Now, Petra, would you like to explain how you made everything or what everything... Explain your costume pieces. Uh, my wood mallet is actually something my fiancé Jonas made for me. It's just a dowel wooden block. <laughs> Let me put it down now so I don't make my monitor. Uh, this part is a gray poncho. His arms are something I had to make at home. His eyes are actually from a beaded belt I had to take apart. The mask is something that Jonas made for me again. So <laughs> he used his 3D printer and then painted it all 3D. Oh, wow. 3D and print. then black gloves. That's, that that's amazing. amazing. That's pretty good. Cool. I love that. I do too. <laughs> this took forever to get in place. I'm sure. <laughs> And I'm going to be fidgeting with it because I didn't take into account headphones have to go under my hood. Yes, I'm in the same place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. I have like a little Mimikyu in the background. <laughs> oh, yeah, I like yes. how you have a Mimikyu in the background. That's really cute. I didn't have anything Halloween to put up, so it's like, Lux, there we go. Baby Lux. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let me just say, before I reveal, I have never felt more me. <laughs> oh, that's a good sign. Ta-da! Oh my oh. god! <laughs> wow! Oh, that's great. <laughs> oh, so it's explain, your explain your costume. It's just, uh, it's just a purple hoodie that I have, and I have uh, uh, face paint on. <laughs> oh, oh no, I remember see doing yeah. that last year for Halloween. <laughs> that took forever to take off. I, I was wondering if it was different. <laughs> <laughs> he has a new lipstick. Gotcha. Yep, just a I little, love, just a little that. schmooze. <laughs> now, do I see? Am I seeing fake eyelashes there, or no? No, oh no, no, no. Oh, it's just the makeup. The makeup makes the makeup makes it look like you have eyelashes. I guess. Yeah, way. it's. It, it oh. might be hard to see, but it is a little bit darker okay. here. Mm -hmm. Got it. 
like like you. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> I love it. I love it. All right. I told like, my go. I told my fiance I have officially gone crazy. Oh. <laughs> I love awesome. you. The, as soon as I saw you, like, uh, don't take this as, don't take any offense to this, but as soon as I saw you, I couldn't help but think you're turning violet, Violet, from Willy Wonka. <laughs> uh, having, having a violet spotlight would have been very useful in this situation. Who would like to go next? I can go. Okay. Ella, go Let's ahead. See. Camera. Oh, there we go. Yes. Oh. oh, wow. I love it. <laughs> oh, that is so cute. Now, is that a, did you actually, is that a wig or did you dye your hair somehow? No, no, I didn't dye my hair. <laughs> um, it's a wig. It is a wig, okay. I love it. I, I thought that for a second, but then I was like, hmm, my, my skin's very sensitive. I'll just spend weeks with like my face feeling off of it, did that, so. <laughs> <laughs> don't be shy, boys. We're wearing oh. this. <laughs> don't tell no, me no. not to be shy. No, before before anyone reveals themselves, I have to say that I'm I'm guessing that by this point, several of the fans are hoping that we're going to get towel Shay again, <laughs> 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 or, or, or underwear Shay. It's actually underwear yeah. Shay. <laughs> Oh, it's Kyle. All right. So are you breaking some? Are you gonna? So the question is, Shay, are you gonna break some hearts, or are you going to oh my. embrace the cancer? <laughs> and there we go. Hey. Oh. Oh. That is. Oh, I love that's that. Thanks. <laughs> so yeah. Where did you get all this stuff? Like the, the uh, goggles. The internet everything. for the most part. I mean, Amazon, M. Well, not my boobs. Amazon, <laughs> Amazon. Um, Do you have boobs? <laughs> I can see them. Yeah. Whoa. Wow. By the way, this you... that doesn't work for the record. <laughs> so, so who did your boobs? <laughs> what? <laughs> who did your boobs? <laughs> it was a very good job. Thank you. It's my first time putting in boobs. <laughs> Is also, it a what are they? Are they like socks inside of a bra? I have, I have oh. from, Yeah, that's exactly. They're socks in a bra. Yeah. <laughs> so I had oh, to ask her. I had to ask family. Aww. I had her. And um, I made my own magic Pokeball. Oh, that's nice. amazing. <laughs> I was gonna say, Riz, it's either socks or you just did a heck of a lot of push-ups leading up to the <laughs> session. <laughs> if only, if only, but no. <laughs> That is super cute. You make a really nice looking female, Riz. You make a nice looking female. I mean, good to know I have other options if, you know, the male doesn't work out. Hashtag fan service. Okay. <laughs> oh my there we go. Wow. That's pretty, is that like Fallout? Yeah. <laughs> I'm ready yes. for flaming buildings and poisonous. <laughs> and I am ready to crawl inside that hoodie. Let's go. Wow. Where did you get good. the hoodie? I, it's, it's, shockingly enough, I found that at a costume shop, but it actually feels really good. Like, it's very comfortable. Nice. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. So, so depending all throughout today's session, I'm, I want to see you in various stages of Zip zip up up. Not zip <laughs> I hope so because I can't breathe in this thing. Despite okay. these <laughs> they don't work. <laughs> All right. Good job, it's everybody. Be, it's Go going to be hard choosing the best one. Oh, yeah. Yes. I can see it's super, lots of effort and a lot of attention to detail with, with you guys. So I am extremely pleased. Cool, cool. I would like some clarification about something that was said last session, but it didn't really feel like I got resolved on. When the group broke up, Noir Tiffany were taking Remy to the Poke Center, and then the next time we saw Noir, she was going to Felicity's. Did anything happen at the Poke Center with Remy? Other than, well, that's a weird thing. I know, that's what I said. <laughs> yeah, so, so did this take place before you went to bed or after? Did, did you take Remy to be before? Because mm -hmm. they okay. went directly from the police station. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we can, we can do that scene real quick. Mm -hmm. 
Flashback. Or, yeah. <laughs> flashback. No, it's a good question. Very good, Very good question. Mm-hmm. Noir, you, um, you're taking Remy to the Polka Center, uh, and there will be a nurse, Joy, at the front desk. I think um, Tiffany is there too, yep. if I remember. Yes. Your Tiffany is there too. Mm-hmm. Good evening. Welcome to the Poker Center. What can I do for you, ladies? Uh, Joy says with oh. a warm smile. Hello. Um, I just wanted to um, get your assistance. My Pokemon um, seems to have um, been injured and he went to like help out another Pokemon and something bad has happened to him. I just want to... Um, help him feel better. It's very disturbing and I just... Mar, you're gonna be okay? Of course. What exactly happened? (laughs) Tiffany risked you and dodged her arm. Thanks. Well, they went into the PC and they were conscious in the PC. There was a bunch of Pokemon going missing from PCs and they went to investigate one particular case. Um, and they they found the Pokemon that was missing, but um, it turns out there was other Pokemon also awake there in digital form, but they were glitched. Glitched, and I think they attacked our Pokemon, and Remy was injured, and then somehow uh, I guess he got him. Something bad happened. I'm not exactly sure on the details, but I think it possessed him, kinda. Possessed? Oh my! And and all of this happened in the PC system? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Maybe. Well, um, I don't really know much about the PC system, but we can certainly take a look. Um. Yeah. At least you um do something about his wounds. Um. He has sure. um, wings in his ears. He's, um, he normally breathes out steam through there, but uh, um, Tiffany said it was like something like the leaves went through there instead. Yeah, which he shouldn't be capable of. But again, not a trained medical professional, so... Second opinion, please. Let's take a look at his vitals, his vital signs. Um, Thank you. I can run a scan on him right now if... Uh, if you can put him, is he in his Pokeball or is he out of his Pokeball? He'd probably be in it, actually. Okay. I can take a scan of him right now, if you'd like. That'd be lovely, thank you. Okay. She um, puts uh, puts the Pokeball into this, um, there's like, there's, there's this, there's the, um, what is it called? The chamber that you can put Pokeballs into, and you can put up to six of them, and then they heal the Pokemon. So there's that chamber, but there's a there's a separate chamber that where you only need to fit one Pokeball into, and she puts the Pokeball into that specific chamber, and then you see her running some sort of scan. Um, the computer screen is showing um, lots of data, uh, lots of like charts and. Um, graphs going around, like, you know, like the, um, whatever they call a thing that, that monitors somebody's heartbeat. Um, and then the, while the scan is happening, the screen starts to jitter a little bit, almost like, Isn't it good you know, that? that's not right. That's weird. Something's, she bangs the, the computer a little bit. Look and... shocked at that. That's expensive equipment. <laughs> Um, she starts typing like rapidly on the on the computer, and and the the uh, the system again tries to take a scan, and all of a sudden you see a blue screen of death. Um. Oh. I. Technology is not um, the way to go with it. I I'm sorry. Um, there must be something wrong with our systems right now. Um. I'm gonna have to go contact maintenance, okay, see if we can um, fix this. Do, do you know anyone who specializes in uh, possession? Any, like, occultists? Like, That's 
<laughs> possession, especially from ghost Pokemon, that's more of of more paranormal, not medical. Yes. Yeah, do you know anyone that could help with that? No, I okay. I, I don't. Sorry. No, it's all right. Thank you. Okay. Oh, I'll, I'll have to try shrines and churches tomorrow. I'll send an email to my boss when I can't come in tomorrow. And um, I nurse the nurse Joy will mention. Oh well, if you're looking for a church, uh, I heard that the Temple of Mew down the street is actually a very popular place for people. Temple of Mew. Okay. Thank you. That's a really big help. I've gone there a few times for serve for Sunday services. It's quite nice. Thank you. You're welcome. Actually, if it's not too much trouble, do you have a sink somewhere? Well, yes. Uh, the Great. women's bathroom is just down that way, she says, okay. pointing. Remy, bath time. Come on. Is Remy still in the ball, or has he Remy come out? Remy can come out of the ball if he wants. Yeah, he'll, he'll come out. He'll come out shivering and shaking okay. in with his, with his tail tucked between his legs. And okay, Tiffany's going to kneel down. Yeah. I'm sorry, this is happening, okay? I'm going to get you a bath, and at least get and, your fur and, back and, to the right color. And, his mind you actually feel or sense the image of dirty runt psychic tiffany or noir T tiffany jerks hand back looks at noir um i don't usually hear his thoughts although i don't well, only i don't think it's his thoughts dirty runt psychic that would probably be other pokemon maybe they don't seem to like him which is very yeah. wrong of you. Remy is awesome and pretty. Picks Remy up. They start stroking him. Um, Noir kind of like whispers to Tiffany, it things to wish and harm also. From okay. previous thoughts I've received, so. Yes, nothing can ever be normal. <laughs> okay, yeah. let's go get you a bath and then you can go home or Oh, wait, you still probably need to go get Fabian tonight, so we should move on this. Yeah. Sorry for... <laughs> not being... Not... Yeah, sorry, sorry for all the not normalness. Seems like I've just been playing with supernatural and we and not supernatural weirdness, like, of late. Yeah. Uh, Tiffany will sense normal our killers. Normal are killers. Okay. Interesting. Continues petting him like this is totally normal. Nothing unusual here. He's just going to go get a bath. <laughs> Goes into bathroom, fills up sink, hands over to Noir so she can dig out some shampoo bottles. I am happy I thought to pack this, even though he wasn't supposed to be with me. And goes through. Unless Remy is going to resist getting a bath. No, he's not. Okay. Um, this tends to be a brush. <laughs> goes through process of bathing him, takes him out, looks through bag, realizes, I do not have towel. Ah, this dress was ruined anyway. Picks up Greg cashmere dress that Chase stretched out, towels him off, so proceeds to sit down on the bathroom floor, brushes him down. Okay. He should now hopefully be back to his glorious original colors. Thank you so much. There you go. I'm sorry this is all it's I can okay. do to make you feel better normal. And he shakes he shakes one last time to get some of the water off. And then he paws at the Pokeball. All right. So okay. he just goes back in. Okay, I gotta get home. I'm tired. Hugs Noir. You take care of that, okay? I do. Okay. So when we last saw our characters, uh, things were a little, uh, things were a little off. Yep. So I think um, you guys got kicked out of the dream world, um, and 
uh, Chase had a moment with Madame Vu. Yeah, basically, yeah, as soon as he gets kicked out of the dream world and finishes going, hey, everyone, we got kicked out of the dream world. And verifying that, she'll probably um, go over to um, Remy, give, give him a little pet, he's, he's all asleep and curled up. Um, and then she'll go to Fabian's room to check on him and Clues. Okay. So Fabian is, I think he's sound asleep still. And okay. Clues at the moment is snoozing. I would say that Snooze is like perched on a dresser of some sort and snoozing soundly there. It doesn't look like it had trouble sleeping itself. Yeah. Does it look like it's in good condition? Everything? Does it look like the room got trashed? Mm -mm. <laughs> no. Everything looks, everything okay. seems fine. <sighs> she'll be relieved at that and then she'll like go back to her room and pick up Remy and like place him in the lounge room like, on top of the couch. So it's just gently and then she'll go back to her room and close the door. Time jump to, she just got out of the shower, wrapped the towel around herself. She's feeling, ah, that was a good shower, really needed that. And then like, as she's like washing her face, Splashes some water on the face, and then she kind of sees something in the background. And then it um, gets closer, like to right, above, right behind her shoulder. And she sees in the mirror, it's um, Dr. Parole going, Found you. <laughs> she like freaks out and like, it's terrified. And then like the other like, room starts, flashes black, and then flashes back, and it's like all red and it's, um, blood's tickling down the walls. Um, so like, um, yeah, the room gets suddenly very creepy and she's like... And slowly like, um, the wall seems to like shimmer and um, twist as like shapes start walking out of it. Um, and the shapes seem to form into people, people from the mansion, people from the past, all oh, the wounds, it's all there and various states of decay as they slowly like surround her. She goes, <sighs> and it's just about to, when they um, swarm her, um, basically, she feels like self suddenly falling for blackness. Falling, falling, and and then when everything stops and you see, and all you see is black, you feel a very comforting hand, a very comforting hand, take a hold of yours. It's very soft, it's very soothing, and just based on the touch of this hand, you know who this is. It is someone very dear to you, at least at a time, it was very dear to you. You can't see the person right now because it's still black. You're starting to almost like your eyes are adjusting to the darkness, but you're starting to see, you know, visually again. Do you say anything to the person who just took a hold of your hand? Hello? Hey. And you hear Cam's voice. What's wrong? Are you okay? Not really. It'll be at that point that you, your eyes will fully adjust. And Cam is, if correct me if I'm wrong, gender fluid. Is that is that the best way? Okay, Cam is gender fluid. Okay. Um, I'm sorry. So what was the last thing that you said? You're not feeling very well. Okay. 
So Cam sort of looks at you with very concerned eyes and asks you, why? What's wrong? Are you having a nightmare again? Yeah, yeah. I thought you left to get away from all of that. I thought the whole reason why you left me was so that you could find a fresh start. Well, the same pass haunts me wherever I go. And wherever I go, more death follows. I'm sorry I wasn't able to help you. I'm sorry I wasn't able to make things better for you back home. Well, things weren't that good for you either. Considering. I'm trying to make it better. That's good. How how are you? He kind of shrugs it a little bit. Oh, you know me, Noir. I'm always fine. And the way he says, the way they say that, it's like, it's like, Cam kind of gives cop-out answers like that all the time. (laughs) That's just the way Cam is. Don't put too much pressure on yourself. You know, stress yourself out. Just, just, Just do the right thing. Do what your heart tells you, not what an organization tells you to do. I'm done with the organization. I want to do something else. Something worthwhile. Something that protects you. Cam. What? (laughs) Don't look, don't look at me like that without those puppy dog eyes. You know that makes me crazy. Despite all you've done, I kind of miss you sometimes. You're like the one, one of the few bright things in my life. You're in everything that happened. And then you, why did you do it? How, how could you let him do that? He looks at you and with a pang of guilt when you say that, and it's it looks like it's the the words that you speak stabs him right in the heart when you say that, and he eventually says, "What? What did you want me to do? It was my dad. Uh, he." I thought that, I thought that we were making things better. I thought that we were making the world better. Thank you. It's just, I, I forgave you, but you know, it still hurts. I know, and I honestly, I don't know why you've forgiven me for it. I don't know why I deserve forgiveness after what we did, what we all did. You saved me and you saved Fabian. You gave him a second chance that he wouldn't have gotten without you. I saved you, yes, but Let's be honest here, it was a selfish move. I saved you, but... I mean, what about everybody else? Well, to be honest, I'm not much better. I had opportunities to save so many lives, and then to save one who was already gone. I could have used the gift that you gave me to do something else, but... That is true. <laughs> There's this 
steal something back that was taken from me. Instead, I was too angry and frustrated and defeated to even think of saving everyone else who had followed me for so long and didn't listen to my pleas when I tried to. <sighs> Cam walks up to you and clutches you very tightly and his body feels very warm and very soft and comforting. And Cam says, Cam kind of goes, shh, it's okay. It's all right. I'll fix it. I'll fix it all. You always do. And when you say you always do, that's when She won't go very quickly down then, she'll like kind of like gently slide down and she'll like wake up and go, huh. Well, better get starting breakfast. <laughs> when Cassie wakes up, she's going to find Molly still, still awake. She didn't fall asleep again after they got kicked out. And she's um, sh she's sitting in a chair, just staring out of a west-facing window, because that's where Johto is. <clears throat> so her eyes, Molly's eyes, are all red and puffy. She's clearly been crying, didn't sleep again, and she's just sitting there. Um, after that, I would say I would say eventually, as she her thoughts would have gone to sleep, but it certainly wasn't the most restful. Mm -hmm. So upon waking up then, you know, she just continued to lie there for a few minutes and just, you know, realize again where she is and collect her thoughts again. And eventually she'd sit up with a sigh and, you know, kind of hold her own knees too. And eventually you guys would fall upon Molly and she'll just ask, a lot on your mind? Yeah, you could say that. And Molly's going to turn around to face Cassie and, you're, and she's going to see Molly's eyes. They're all red and puffy. And Molly's just going to... Just gonna say, want some breakfast? Uh, she'll kind of weakly smile in response to that and say, I'm not sure I could actually eat anything, but might be worth a shot. Yeah, so Molly will stand up and she'll, she'll get some cereal and pour Cassie a bowl. She's not gonna pour anything for herself though. Mm -hmm. And uh, if Madison's awake, then she'll pour Madison a bowl also. <clears throat> Yeah, she'll, I think Madison will start waking up around the time that you have breakfast. <clears throat> ah, and, uh, you know, she comes over and she looks like she definitely has had better sleep than you guys um, did. And uh, she uh, gets over to the table and rubs her eyes. It'll be like, morning. <laughs> How are you guys doing? Oh, Molly. Wow, you look terrible. <laughs> Thanks, Madison. Here, have some cereal. Uh, what kind of cereal is it, just out of curiosity? Um, I'm going to say, like, Frosted Flakes or something. Oh, wow. Aren't you a heavy spender? I was expecting, <laughs> you know, bargain brand. Some, I, guess, I guess that's what Madison will say. Oh, wow. Aren't you a heavy spender? Molly, you moved up in the world. Frosted Flakes now. None of those <laughs> bargain brand cardboard uh, cardboard cereal. This must be a special occasion. Well, when you have house guests, you want to splurge a little bit, you know? Oh, shucks, she says. You're too much. <clears throat> but, like, but your your eyes are all red and other thing. Are you having some sort of allergic reaction this morning? Mm. Molly, does she not... <sighs> I didn't tell her. I couldn't. Uh, didn't tell me about allergic reaction? Well, it's none of it. <laughs> none that it's any of my business. <laughs> no, Madison, I'm not allergic to anything. Just something, something, something's happened. Oh. Well, when you put it that way, now you're gonna have to spill. She says as she, as she, and as she says that, uh, she kind of gasps. Oops. 
Whoops, sorry. She actually spilled some milk that she was pouring in. (laughs) Isn't that a little ironic, she says, as she starts to wipe it up. Yeah, so Molly will get up and... (laughs) Yeah, she'll she'll get up and and she'll get a towel and start mopping it up. And... uh, Molly with the towel, ding. Okay. Ding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she'll she'll start mopping up the milk and she'll say, "Well, um, long story short, uh, my foster parents might be in Johto." Oh, in Johto. Yeah. How did you find this out? Uh. Tiffany, Tiffany did some digging and she found out they've, well, they've gone missing. They went missing about a year ago and last time they were heard, heard from, it was near the border. Oh, Molly. Oh, Molly, I'm so sorry. Molly's starting to tremble a little bit while she's talking. She, Madison would reach out and try to comfort you, like rub your arm a little bit. And she says, sweetie, is there anything I can do? We don't know for sure if they're necessarily hurt or nothing. I mean, then again, we don't know much about Johto in general. Well, the whatever help you could give me might have to wait. And Molly's going to kind of glance over at Cassie. Unless you forgot about that. Oh, yes, of course. I definitely would be willing to help out with anything. I mean, I owe you guys tons for getting Timmy back. So, whatever you need. Right. Thanks. Hopefully nothing too illegal, because, you know, I'd hate to go back to the slammer for the third time. (laughs) Oh, Moxie would get a hoot about that if he ever found out. Well, yeah, we we might need your help with that, Madison, but <sighs> Molly's Molly's going to turn away from the table and go toward the, the west facing window again and just stand there with her hands kind of on her hips, looking outside, not saying anything. Madison's going to gaze towards your direction, and then she's going to lean in towards Cassie. And uh, she says, wow, Molly seems really bummed about all this. Yeah, wouldn't you be? Well, yeah, she says. I mean, it's not every day you find out that, I guess, your parents, if that's what they seem to be for her, not every day you find out that your parents might be in danger. I'm sure you can, well, I'm sure you can relate. You always take everything so casually. Me? (laughs) Casually? Um... I guess so. I never really thought about it much, I suppose. I mean, I was a total wreck when I lost Timmy. Fair enough. And Cassie's gonna turn and, you know, look toward Molly this time too and say, if they are out there, we will find them, okay? And if there's anything I can do with help with that, you know that I'll be there. I'm just not really sure what exactly that help would entail. <clears throat> Molly's gonna Molly's gonna turn back to them and she's got tears in her eyes but she's obviously trying to fight them back and she says we'll figure something out and she'll come back to the table and she'll sit down and she'll say so Cassie um, you need a ride back to Saffron yeah I've gotta get back to prison labs today <sighs> yeah and I've gotta do some stuff too um yeah, I guess we'll head out after breakfast, okay? Right, yeah. Thanks again for letting me crash. Not a problem. <clears throat> hey, Maul. Yeah, Maddie? I don't know if this means anything to you, but if you ever want to talk, I'm here to listen. I can't say that I know exactly how you're feeling, but at least I know what it's like to sort of lose family to a degree although for me it was more my fault than anything else it doesn't sound like this was necessarily your fault 
Molly's Molly's hands kind of clench a little bit as they're on the table, and she's she says, "It was my fault. It was it was all my fault." And she walks away from the table, goes to the bathroom. Cassie will shoot Madison a look, but then just continue to kind of stir her cereal around. Madison looks a little uh, upset by that, and she says, Wow, I guess I didn't really help much at all, did I? I don't know if she'll be open about it, but I think if you want to start helping, you really need to learn the context. I'm not very, I was never really very good at these kind of things. You know, dealing with computers is so much easier than dealing with people sometimes. You just plug it in and you 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 plug it in and then whatever you put in is pretty much easy to decide to figure out what you get out of it but no. doing all this psychological stuff oh i've never been good at that i can at least relate to you on that level i'd say with molly right now don't try to fix the problem don't try to solve anything just make sure she knows that you're there for her okay all right, I think I can do that. Maybe I'll just let you do more of the talking then. Yeah, that's gone well before. Might as well try for it again. How about you though? I'm sure that we've got a lot that we need to take care of and you seem to have a lot on your mind too. Yeah, I mean, life's a shithole and you just have to deal with it. So that's what I'm gonna do. She'll nod and she'll continue eating her cereal. Broken up. You still sleeping? Yep, he's in his kiddie pool. Okay. Pads over to sewing room. Actually starts working on patterning out pieces for Lux's costume. Starts cutting it apart. Realizes, I just said morning, I didn't say when. Pulls out phone, texts Molly. When do you want to meet today? Send. Thinks about Molly. it. Do you want to meet today? Send. <laughs> Molly Molly takes a little while to answer, but she, eventually she'll text back. Um, or what? Like she's clearly forgotten what <laughs> you're, you're supposed to meet for. <laughs> she asks for help. Girl. <laughs> Calls. <laughs> so... Molly will pick up. Uh, hi. You asked me to help you with clothes, remember? I understand if you don't, because, yeah, tragedy, let our name be sorrow. Oh, yeah. It's I, uh, okay if you don't want to, sweetie. I totally forgot. Um, <laughs> I don't blame you. I really don't. Um, uh, I, I guess... I guess I could come over. Um, well, what what time are you free? Uh, I'm free until around four this afternoon. Then I have to go into work for a bit. It's so oh. weird. It's my last week with the Sola Spa, and then next week, a fish line is supposed to be starting with the Kanta Center. And I'm sorry, my joy. And right now, you're not happy. I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, it's nice. It's it's nice to hear other people are happy about something, you know. Hey, you have a date with a very sexy doctor. <laughs> right side. Molly, Molly smiles a little bit at that. But if Cassie and Madison are still there, you can see that Molly is she's smiling with her mouth, but not necessarily with her eyes. So she's she says, okay, well, um. I need to bring Cassie back to Saffron, and then I think I'm gonna go visit Noir at the coffee shop, and then, sure, maybe I'll I'll call you up and I can come over. Okay. And Molly would give a big sigh. Oh, sweetie. If I were there, I would hug you. You know that, right? Yeah. You're strong. You'll get through this. I wonder that sometimes. You will get through this. You have so many people around you that will not let you fail. All right. Yeah. 
Um, I'll call you later, okay? Okay, it better. Do not make me start stalking you. I'm already technically doing that Kyle's Facebook page. <laughs> oh yeah, you and Kyle. Mm, yes, the other reason, you know, I want to set some balls into motion. <laughs> All right, well, <clears throat> yeah, I'll... I'll give you a call later then. Maybe maybe around two o'clock or so. All right. I will start pulling things in anticipation. Mm-hmm. All right. So Molly will hang up. Tiffany will hang up. <laughs> uh, nothing signif- significant yet, but I do want to uh, take care of just like a small thing that it's a little bit of random chance here, but Chase is going to walk into the city and then he's going to go and hang out at that building where the other group originally met Vu at. Um, where cobblestone uh, gorged, uh, free food. Okay, so at the psychic, or where the psychic rally used to take place, what Chase is looking for... Which is the gym. Which is the Saffron City gym, just to clarify. Uh, Chase is looking around the dumpster area, but just in in the immediate vicinity, he's looking for any thrown out pins. I don't think anyone would have thrown out a pin, but I'm sure that a pin can easily be made by someone who might know a thing or two about making, I don't know, accessories and outfits and things like that. <laughs> if you really want one. <laughs> uh, without giving away what's it, what it's for, I would say he's tra- he'd, he'd probably go to a craft shop and buy something with a happy face on it or something like that. Sure. Yeah. I'm going to okay. say you can do that for like what a total of what the equivalent of five dollars in the real world would be so five dollars times 50 i think yeah yeah. 250 i think cool and that's it okay yeah he'll he'll wake up and he'll be like he'll be like uh crawling crawling out of his pool (laughs) (sighs) he looks he rubs his eyes and he looks at, at tiffany and gives her a big smile Smiles back. Okay, Kettle Paddle. We need to talk about some things this morning. Mm. If you're going to be a part of this, you need to know everything that's been going on. And she will proceed to launch into everything that happened since Coma till now. So he is mm-hmm. informed. <laughs> then yeah, she'll... So okay, go. I think, I think sometimes he cocked his head in confusion, and so she had to... Stop, clarify. <laughs> <laughs> and so... Yeah, he, he looks at her and he, it, it was a lot of information for yes. you to handle at once. But by now, yes, I think he's he's on top of things. Okay. Also now probably some things have context. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, so, so, so we might not be in Johto right away, but I'm still going to look up some information for you. Out of character, would there have been something like a children's special explaining Johto? I'm sure. Okay. There's, I'm sure there must be something. Tiffany will go search YouTube for that, so you have some sure. context for that. <laughs> so he knows what he's walking into. And I'll probably spend the morning watching that. <clears throat> yeah, while he's watching it, he's actually, like, he's actually, uh, at first he's confused, and then he's, like, horrified, and then he's just really sad. I know, Cuddle Puddle. I feel the same way. Puts mm-hmm. arm around him, pulls him into her. Yeah, he he hugs her, and then he he looks he looks at her with he's very sad, and he points at the screen like, "What? Look at this, and look at this." And she nods, and I know, sweetie, I know, but that's what we're going to be walking into. I just I don't want to scare you, but you do need to know. And he he holds her he he holds her tighter. When when um, Tiffany says, "I don't want to scare you, but you need to know," you get a flash of a memory, um, you, of somebody telling you those exact same words. Somebody male, though, and you somebody male that's telling you those exact same words, and the memory that you have is a little odd because you don't remember being in a place that's very white, very clean. Um, and it's, it's a, it only lasts for like a second or two, but it's, it just, it definitely like makes you think, Hmm, that's interesting. I don't remember. 
I don't remember that, but for some reason you do. Anyway, continue. Yeah, so when that happens, U will become very visibly confused for a few seconds, and he'll look around. He thinks maybe maybe uh, there was a big white wall somewhere that Tiffany might have said that to him, but maybe. he's not sure. So he so he's he's looking around. Maybe she was tired and her voice was just really low. <laughs> you know, maybe she had a little too much to drink. Those were her drinks. <laughs> yeah. So he is very confused for a couple seconds. Yeah. Right. Also and starts looking around to figure out what is he looking at her for. Mm -hmm. And he he looks he looks back at her and he he just you know shakes shakes his head, smiles again, but you can see in his eyes that he's thinking about something. Okay. Cassie, you are in Prism Labs. I believe you intended Amazing. going to Prism Labs. Yeah. Yes. If we're just going to skip right to that, cool, cool. Um, I think that uh, while you're at the office, uh, Dr. Aspen actually will, um, will actually come to visit you and he actually um, yeah, because just for the record, if she normally went to like a team for a project kind of thing, she wouldn't have this time. Oh. Ask Dr. Aspen will uh, will walk over to you and say, Cassie. So um, she'll perk up. Just yeah, Professor. I heard from the rest of your team members that you didn't show up at your meeting. Uh, and she'll glance back down at the notes she'd been scribbling, you know, and just not a little and say, uh, yeah, I decided to do a little bit of um, independent research for a bit. Out of character, did you let the team lead know that out of character? Or did you no. just not show up? She just didn't show. I see. Did you inform, uh, I'm just gonna make up a name. Did you inform Simon about that? Ah, uh, you know, I, I did not. I, I knew I was forgetting something. What exactly are you working on? Um, well, actually, if you want to take a look, she'll, you know, sit back a little bit and gesture toward the notes. And these are notes on out of character? These out of character would be notes on, um, sort of the fusion of separate, not quite mundane items, but, you know, they'd have their own individual effects, but seeing if you could get, um, through certain compliments or the like, um, particular reactions out of them. He's looking over the notes. Huh, that makes a lot of sense. Mm. Cassie, these 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 findings are actually rather brilliant, very thought provoking, curious. Thanks. Uh, just for now, though, if you wouldn't mind, could we keep it between us? Of course. Thanks. Speaking of things between us. Are you doing all right? You seem a little off today. Uh, no, frankly. No, I'm not doing that well. Is work being a little bit too stressful for you? Is is that why you didn't show up at today's meeting? No, works works good. Works, works actually really good. Are it's, you not uh, interested in what you're working on? We can transfer you to something else, to another project if you're not happy. No, Professor, it's, it's more of a home situation. Oh, I see. Yeah, something happened with mom and uh, I'm, I'm just not taking it too well, I guess. What happened to your mother? Dr. Aspen asks. It's complicated. All right. Um, if you don't want to talk about it, that's fine. Um, is there anything I can do? Um, well, regarding my research, would you mind if I ordered in supplies that I could use for this? I mean, it's one thing in theory, but another in practice. Of course, absolutely. Thank you. It, it'll all come from my own, my own money, of course. I'm sure that at minimum we should be able to allow you to acquire the materials at our discounted price. Are you sure? Of course. Right. If it's if it's all for the research, then absolutely. Especially with notes like this, they look very promising. 
So I feel that the company is going, would benefit from these things, from these studies anyway. In fact, why don't you go ahead and why don't you go ahead and order the materials? Uh, why don't you go ahead and more order materials under the company card? I'll put it through finance myself. If you're sure about that, then all right. Thank you. I trust you. I was just going to say um, she scoffs slightly, smile and nod, and just not add anything else. So. Dr. Aspen will then say, I also wanted to ask, because he, he leaves for a second, then he turns around and says, I also wanted to ask, how is the uh, other device coming along? I think you called it the EvDev? Yeah, Cassie's smile will turn a little bit more sheepish and she'll glance down toward it, because she's still wearing it, you know. Um, she'll say, honestly, I haven't yet gotten to try it. I've, I've been meaning to bring it up to my Pokemon, but a lot of things came up. Not to mention, we only just, I think, became aware that it could be used on such a Pokemon, right? He, he'll nod, and and then he'll say, some of the notes that you passed on passed on to me the other day, however, seem to suggest that you were onto something with being able to evolve Pokemon that normally evolve through other means other than natural evolution. Absolutely, but. Again, so far, all in theory. It's promising, I just want to work out any kinks that might be left. Well, I just wanted to let you know that after I took a look at your notes, I came up with a few notes of my own. He gives you a thumb drive. Hopefully that will help you out. Seeing the thumb drive, she actually tensed for just a moment, but then yeah. nodded and took it. Let me know what you think. Of course, will do. Thank you, again. If there's anything else, if you need anything else, just let me know. And I will. again, I'm, I'm sorry to hear things are complicated with your mom. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll sort it out. Should I not give her a call then? Yeah, I'd say for now, just let things cool off. Okay. With that, Dr. Aspen will mod and he'll leave. Are you going to look at his? Are you going to look at the thumb drive at all at any point that day? Yeah, yeah, no. She'll once he's gone, she'll basically finish her thought, kind of thing, you know, whatever she had going on paper at the time. Um, but then she'll check out the notes. Yeah, he'll, he'll have notes, and he has some theoretical suggestions on how to tweak the vice to actually allow it to evolve Pokemon that normally evolve through the use of stones and other objects ah. of that nature. Cool, okay. So there are ways that you can probably get the ability to evolve Pokemon that normally evolve from stones using shards instead. Oh, fancy that, okay. And to be clear about the EvDev, um, so, you know, it temporarily evolves. Can it temporarily de-evolve something that evolved actually naturally? That, no. No, okay. Because it's... In theory, it's easier to evolve than to devolve. Okay, no, that's fine. So the order actually does matter. Good to the know. order actually does matter, yeah. Actually, one more question. Not that it's necessarily relevant, but just so I know. Um, yeah. Can it evolve more than one step? In theory, Say yes. if you had a Charmander, you could go like straight to Charizard kind of thing? Mm -hmm. In theory, yes. Okay, in theory is important. Yes. All right. I think they did that in Digimon too. Yes. <laughs> Yes. Warp Digivolve, I think. <laughs> <laughs> after, after Molly dropped Cassie off at uh, work, she's, she's going to uh, ask Bullet to fly, fly to, to Noir's cafe. But before they get there, Molly's actually going to abruptly ask Bullet to land. And it's very, it's very urgent. And as soon as he lands, Molly gets off of his back. She staggers to the side and she drops to the ground and starts dry heaving. Okay. Yeah, and and she has never been sick on bullet before. She has never been sick from flying before. Okay, so when she when she asked for him to suddenly stop, you know, he'd without question go down and land for her and everything. Um, mm -hmm. And he was just kind of wait, like he's a little curious but he hadn't taken it as an urgent thing really until he saw her collapse um and at that point 
you know, his smile dropped and he crawled over really quick and like was trying to get a better look and, you know, mm -hmm. eventually just started like lightly patting her back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So she's just, she's just heaving. Nothing's coming up because she didn't have any breakfast and she, <laughs> she just coughs and she, <laughs> and she wipes her mouth and she she's she just starts crying like just starts sobbing she says i can't i just can't um if possible bullet will try to like shake and fish around with one of his, one of his wings and try to get a water bottle out of the pack <clears throat> okay and she she sees what he's doing and she she uh she wipes her eyes and she says, she says, okay, oh, thank you. And she, she reaches up and just gets it out herself, starts sipping on it. And she's going to crawl, like if, if they're on the sidewalk or something, she's going to crawl over to some grass and just lay down and, and face the sky and just start, start taking deep breaths. And she looks over at Bullet and she says, I'm, I'm literally worried sick. <laughs> I'm literally worried sick. And, and he'll have, he'll have crawled up beside her and like slipped one wing beneath her head and the other over her stomach. Mm -hmm. And she's just laying, she's laying there trembling, just sweating, still feeling very nauseous. And she, she uh, holds her hands up and she, uh, strokes his wing while he while it's over her she says i can't leave them in johto but at the same time i can't leave cassie i i can't do anything <laughs> at this point his smile has completely turned to a frown and unsure of what else to do he'll try to like you know nose her a little bit trying to be affectionate <laughs> <laughs> yeah she she's patting his face still very queasy she she's uh like i don't i don't think i don't think bullet has ever seen her in this state before by the way mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah and so she'll she'll just lay there for a few seconds and eventually she'll sit up and just tremble a little bit and she says i'm i'm glad you're here with me I really am. And she says, maybe we should walk the rest of the way. He'll, he still doesn't look happy. He does look, he looks confused, but mostly by this point, honestly, I think it would be scared. He'll just quickly nod at her suggestion and, you know, stand beside her as best he can and just be ready to follow after. Yeah, she's going to stand up. She's going to be very wobbly, and she's actually going to lean on him mm -hmm. while they're walking. And with that, okay. she's going to with that she's gonna make her way toward Noir's cafe. Molly's going to stagger in to the cafe, and she's going to ask, Oh, hi. Um, is Noir here? One, a fem one of the female baristas um, says, uh, She actually uh, took off work today. Molly, Molly says, oh, I see. Um, that's understandable. Um, could you maybe give her these? And she reaches into her bag and she pulls out a bag of berries and oh. also a bottle of lemonade. And she says, sure. uh, here, um, tell, tell her it's from me. Tell her it's for Remy. Um, and tell her I said thank you. And also, I'm sorry for what happened for, to Remy. Uh Sure. What was your name again? Uh, my name is Molly. All right, Molly. Absolutely. I'll I'll let her know. And by the way, Molly is still trembling and sweating a lot. And on her way out of the cafe, she'll <clears throat> again. <clears throat> okay. And at that point, the uh, the girl will say, "Oh, Miss, um, do you not? Do you need to use the restroom?" Uh. Yeah, I think so. And she'll walk over. Yeah, you can Bullet go over the restroom. Follow. Yeah. Uh, I'll be out in a second, okay, Bullet? And she'll go in to the restroom. Outside, he'll just be fidgeting a the, little bit. The girl will look at Bullet and just tell Bullet, she can take her time. 
<laughs> and she will go back to to go back to the front again. She's just leaning over. She's just leaning over the toilet. Again, nothing's coming out, but she's just <sighs> Okay, come on. Pull yourself together. The others need need me. <sighs> she gets up, she splashes her face, walks out of the bathroom. And she would have found Bullet with his like ear pressed against the door. <laughs> hey, buddy, that's that's not that's usually not considered polite. You know that, right? <laughs> he smiles a little bit, you know, a little bit sheepishly, but is still clearly concerned. Yeah. And uh, she <clears throat> she says, "Okay, um, uh, what time is it? What time is it?" And she, uh, she, she, she'll pull out her phone and check. And okay, meeting with Tiffany at two o'clock. Um, I gotta. I don't know. And she's gonna, she's gonna uh, go up to the counter again, and she's gonna say, "Hey, um, do you have anything that might help with uh, nausea?" Oh, of course. We've got some herbal teas that can help with that. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, let me get a, let me get one, please. I, I might sit down and just sip on that sure. for a while. Sure. What size? Uh, let's, let's go with the small for now. I, if I need another one, I'll get another one. All right. That'll be 150 pokés. Okay. Yeah. She'll pay it and she'll add a little bit extra to the tip jar and she'll just say thanks. Okay. <laughs> well, she's going to give you an herbal tea. And it actually is, uh, it's very, it's warm, but not too hot. Um, it's a bit of, it's got some chamomile in there. It's got a few other herbs that you probably don't really recognize. Mm -hmm. um, but it's a perfect blend of bitterness and sweet that it's mm -hmm. still very pleasant and soothing. And it actually, it actually does calm you down and it calms your system down <clears throat> quite a bit. He'll he'll uh, find his way to Tiffany uh, throughout the morning. Okay. And he'll find her house, knock on the door. Looks up at you. I, I should get that. I thought she was calling. Goes over, opens door. Oh, hey. Forces smile. He, uh... We need to talk. Yeah, I guess so. Hello, Lux. He just comes right over his chest. Stop chases chest. Taps Lux's head. Now, head of the dust skull costume. What's mm -hmm. up? He comes over and gives gives Chase a big hug as soon as he sees him. And he he taps him back, and he says, "This won't take long. I've got okay. other things I gotta get around to, but you were the first one because oh, I need to talk I'm to your father." <laughs> okay. Gone. Goes over to couch, think, sits down. Do you think you can make an appointment with your father and take me there? Hey. Can I? I can guess the nature of this. Points at Lux. I need a good lawyer. Okay. Yeah. And this is exactly what he specializes in. I told Jenny. Um, what? Oh, okay. Lux is still around, so he took it well? It's the first time he's hearing about it. Okay. Okay. Um, I actually, think he trusts me. What are go you ahead. doing for dinner tonight? Do you have plans? I was just going to go see everyone else one at a time. Okay, it's more family dinner. You could go with me. You would have a direct audience to my bad father. I will get her character quick, right? Darn it. I <laughs> uh, I don't know if he'd want anyone like me around. Oh, sweetie, I can dress you to look nice. It's what I do. Sure, let's do that. Okay. Uh, well, if you can be back here by six p.m., we can head over to my brother's house. Oh, I need to text him because I canceled for this week. So just so he knows I'm coming and I'm bringing someone. 
And then hammer home, this is not a date. I'll be here by six. Okay. How's Lux holding up? You were apart for a bit. At he that, Lux is actually going Lux. to remember something, hops out, hmm. holds away costume. <sighs> really? Well, my skills will never not be useful, I guess. Come here. Picks him up. Let's go to sewing room. Okay. Um, takes out cardboard box, sets it up, opens flaps so he can go inside, but they can't see inside. Okay, go in there. Give me the costume. I'll fix it. Lux goes in, proceeds to toss out. Honestly, what did you boys do before you met me? Well, as you can see, I'm on my way towards the next better model of this. Gestures to our table where it's now all cut out. <laughs> Unfortunately, the machine I have, I can't sew it on because it would literally break my machine. However, Saffron Contest Center, I can use theirs. It's heavy duty enough. If I'm absolutely desperate enough, I can maybe use the one in my mom's office, but yeah, that's kind of a shrine area to my dad, so he's iffy about letting me use her stuff. Yeah. Why, why wouldn't he just give you her stuff? I think he more... I mean, she's gone. Yeah, that's it. He wants to preserve her things the way she left them. Plus, her sewing machine wouldn't fit in my apartment. It is huge, industrial, and built into the wall. I got a warehouse you could put it in. <laughs> uh, must be worth it. No, no, I'm not going to steal mom's sewing machine. No. Does stitch, turns, does stitch other way. Okay, that should hold. Okay, Lux. Goes over, tosses over to side of the box. Lux grabs it, pulls in, steps into it. Mm. Comes out, mm. bows to her, goes, jumps up on Chase's shoulder. Take a whole new desk skull. Mm. Thank you very much, Tiffany. Appreciate it. Yeah, well, maybe, you know, next time I can't sleep because I have stuff I can't deal with. Uh, maybe not yell at me. That was fucked up. Which, by the way, I'm still ticked about. Next time you don't sleep, I won't sleep either. Well, now I feel bad. Stop making me feel bad. You go do whatever it is you're doing this morning. I need to go pull outfits for Molly. Because hopefully we will get to play dress up today. I'll catch you at six. All right. See you then. While you're enjoying your um, tea there... <laughs> um, this individual comes into the coffee shop mm -hmm. along, I was wondering. along with a, um, flying Pokemon on perched on his shoulder. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can see, um, you can see, uh, Keith, uh, make his way over to the front and he's, uh, deciding on what to order. 